Come on. Hey guys. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video here and today I want to share with you guys a really cool kind of VST plugin that you guys can use to create this kind of crazy orchestra type of beats. Now I produced this quick beat just to demonstrate the cello in it and I mean this cello on this VST plugin is just amazing. Check this out. I mean, how mad is that, guys? Come on. So, there will be a link in more description below. You guys can grab it. I will also show you on here. If you guys head over to, um, let me show you, producer buzz, and you type in here on the search onto orchestral, you can get, I'm going to show you some more of the violins on here that you guys can get. Let me just show you this, guys. Oh, not responding. There we go. So if you type in orchestra or just orch, uh, this plugin will come in. There'll be a link in more description. And basically, it's free to download. Um, the creators, the, the creators of this VST plugin, are no no longer creating this. Um, well, they're not longer looking after this VST plugin, which means it's fallen into the freeware category where anyone can actually use it. There's a lot of websites sharing this, so you guys can also grab it from Producer Buzz. It's free to download. The link in, is in more description. Uh, the only bad thing about this VST is when you save your beat and you log out, um, you tend to it tends to go back to the first uh, the first preset on here, which is the violin womb. So I would uh, recommend you guys just right clicking on there and just renaming it to whatever you've used on that first stack. Um, I just like to use like one VST on one stack. I mean, you can obviously use different stacks and send different feeds and stuff and use different buses but for this instance uh, I'm just demonstrating the power of this VST and obviously you know to create this beat on here um, this VST done a really good job and you got the timpani Just making sure that we're recording in the right frequency. Um, so yeah, so we got the timpani as well. Check this out. Now, there's a lot of other cool sounds on here. Check this out. I know I've done a video on this before, but I just want to highlight some of the violins and cellos on this. So let's have a look at some of the violins in here, guys. Now the good thing about this is on the side you've actually got settings to change it to different kind of settings. So this is set to symphony 3. You can change it to chamber 1. You'll get a different kind of reverb settings, chamber 2. And then you can change the levels up. And there's a lot of cool kind of presets on here. And obviously there's a lot of different violins. As you guys can see. And uh, the, the list goes on. <laughs> what did I say there? <laughs> but yeah, you guys get the point. Uh, violin uh, spiccato
So really cool sounds, and they sound really good. And there's loads, as you guys can see on the screen, loads of really cool sounds in different sections. And it's all free, and it's just amazing. And there's a lot of people that don't know about this VST, and I just want to share it with you guys that it is free to download, free to use, and you can use it to make profit with the beats, as all of this is free. I mean, how amazing is that? Check this out. I mean, how cool is that? And I'm playing that live on my MIDI keyboard right here. Really, really cool. And obviously you can add post-production effects as well. And yeah, as you guys can see, really powerful VST. And those of you that don't know about this VST and you're not using it, this is something you won't sit on. Again, when you close it down, you will have the issue of this renaming itself, whatever you saved. So just right click in here and always rename it to whatever you've used. So when you load it up, you can just load up the plugins, as you guys can see. Um, simple as that. And it's good to go. Um, once you save it, and open it up again it will reset the sound and you will need to just click in them and reset it to whatever you've saved at the side here i don't know if everyone's having the same issues with this renaming thing but it's not a big thing you know it takes a couple of seconds you just click in there and just turn it back to whatever sound you've used just make sure you rename it right so pretty cool is that now i've got a lot more uh, tutorials vsts vocal presets coming up so make sure you guys um hit the like if you haven't already bow we have hit fifty thousand subscribers that is mad i did not even expect that so subscribe and hit the bell icon to show some support and love again head over to producer buzz we've got over 150 free VST plugins that you guys can, can download third party then shared freeware and royalty free presets do check the description before you download um, I do recommend purchasing you know drum kits and stuff if you're gonna use it for profit but do check the descriptions on some of the downloads they do come as royalty free samples and presets from third party suppliers which is pretty cool man I mean you can create some awesome music just using free VST plugins and third party suppliers uh, kind of you know all different type of sounds and samples and it's crazy that you know we've come to this point in music production where it's just endless kind of possibilities with the creativity that you guys can achieve with different samples and loops. So yeah, uh, apart from that, I hope everyone's been cool. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe, and definitely check this um, orchestra out. I just wanted to highlight the cello one here as I was making this beat here, and it just sounds so cool. I mean, check this out. The beat is not finished yet, but I will be sharing this um, FLP project. If you guys want, join me on Patreon below as well. Apart from that, I'm out. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more tutorials, presets, and more VST plugins, drum kits, and giveaways. Got loads more coming. Peace out. Hit the like. Subscribe. Ciao.